I'm Kim Bassett Heitzman and I'm president and CEO of Bassett Mechanical. We're a mechanical contractor that we've been around for almost 75 years and there's three major lines of business that we cover. We do service, which is proactive preventative maintenance programs for industrial and commercial facilities to help them maintain um, their boilers and chillers and those sorts of equipment to get the best energy efficiency out of them. Then we have construction, which covers HVAC, plumbing, uh, ammonia refrigeration, and within that division we can do retrofit or brand new facilities um, in the industrial and commercial world. And then we have a manufacturing division, which is really outside the realm of a typical mechanical contractor in that we don't just do HVAC duct work. Um, but we build things such as embed rings for the wind industry, smoke stacks for the foundries, saturation dive systems where six divers can live in them up to 45 days and go up to a thousand feet below sea level. So very diverse in what we do here at Bassett Mechanical. Sustainability isn't just a nine to five job. It's something that you really have to live, walk the walk and talk the talk. And that's why many of the things that we do within our own facility are the same things that we would recommend to our customers. Along the lines that of green and sustainability for me is also lean because lean involves how do you best utilize uh, the systems, the resources uh, within your facility and, and eliminate waste. Well, we've adopted a, a, an approach to sustainability that is is not new. I mean, a lot of other folks use the same approach. It uh, focuses on people, profit, and the planet. And you, you try to balance those dimensions, if you will, as you're looking at your business strategy going forward. Sustainability is really a part of the history of Bassett. Uh, we've been doing ammonia refrigeration, which is the most environmentally friendly since 1940s. Uh, in the 1980s, we got involved when the Clean Air Act came into play and we started helping companies clean the air in their, in, both inside their buildings and making sure that the air coming out of their building was clean. So whether it was dust collection or fume collection and so on. Uh, we got involved also back then in uh, preventive maintenance and helping people to make sure they had their fit, equipment running efficiently, which used a lot of less energy. And then in uh, the year, you know, since the turn of the century, we've been, we've been involved in renewables. A good example of how we work with outside vendors on sustainability is that we've gone to electronic POs. And in that process, we actually have saved about 30,000 pieces of paper per year from either going into the landfill or into a recycling facility. And so that was a huge savings. Things that we've done in the building, in addition to the few that I named, were just uh, from a plumbing perspective, we do plumbing at Bassett Mechanical, but within our own facility, low flow or no flow fixtures, um, light sensors that automatically come on and turn off when you leave the room, um, the recycling of air out in the shop so that we don't just emit the heat out into the environment but we capture it from the machinery and welders and such, clean it up through our dust collection to take out any particulates and then they can, um, you, don't have, you can add it to the cold air coming in from the outside, now this is primarily during the winter, but add it to that cold air so that we're best utilizing um, the resources that we have within our facility. I think it's a way that you look at your work that actually makes your job a green job. And we've had, I think that's what's happened in our organization, we have had a lot of our people who are, they're, for example, they're welders, and they've been welding for years. But today, they're welding and making equipment that is uh, designed to be, uh, protect the environment or designed to produce renewable energy. So their job, even though it's the same skill, and they're using more energy efficient equipment and they're using better processes, more environmentally friendly processes, they're contributing to creating uh, green energy, if you will. Another aspect that may some people may not think falls within the realm of sustainability would be the wellness of your um, associates. And so we've done a number of things from changing out the food within our vending machines to make sure that there are healthier choices to doing Weight Watchers on site where the Weight Watchers facilitator comes in once a week and we all grab a healthy lunch and we sit and talk about how can we all do better. We have pedometer challenges where um, anybody that wants to participate is given a pedometer and tracks the number of steps they take with a goal of about 10,000 steps per day. And so sustainability can mean everything from the alternative energy to the wellness of the person to recycling within your facility to making sure that there's peak efficiencies within your buildings. 